Hey, Conch. Yo. So, I can't really figure it out for myself, but if you had a mutant ability, what would it be? Huh. I never thought of it before. I could tell you, but... So, you want to have cardboard growing out your hands with a cardboard box on your hand? Dude, it's Weapon X! ka ka snicket, snicket. Okay, Adon, please tell me you have something better in mind. Well, I mean, mutant powers... Kind of a curse. Everything's red. I'm seeing spots. What's your mutant power? Uh, I think I got the power of love. Oh, power of love? It's not working. Kind of lame. Man, my mama loved me. Alright guys, we're back. Break Room Blitz. I'm DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don, my boy Conch. What do you guys think about our shirts? Is it cool? I like a Don's. I definitely like Conch's right this there. It's one. fabulous! Epic. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so we're here again. X-Men Apocalypse. All day. So good. I don't know what the, the critics were talking about. I, I don't know what everyone was saying. Why they didn't go, didn't go see it, but... It was awesome to me. It's great. Awesome movie. I, I I walked out that theater pumped, pumped. But that's just me. I was like air pumped from the shoe, like <laughs> pumped. <laughs> yeah. like, or you feel like pumped like you got done with the gym? Both. <laughs> Both. It's like, Woo! I'm that, ready to go. <laughs> Pump my shoe. I'm ready to go. Pump some iron. I'm ready to go. That was my movie right there. I appreciated it. Definitely uh, loved it. Rebuttaled from all reviews. I, yes. I was out of my seat, just like, oh my god, no, they didn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, yes, they did. <laughs> oh, it's going down. Yes. It's like scene for scene. It was just oh, like, man. oh my god. I remember just like, oh, this is a great movie. It's <laughs> a great movie. <laughs> I remember you were the villain complex. I you? did, and after I walked out of the theater, I actually it took me a while to figure out like, okay. What didn't I like about the movie? And right. I sat there for a while thinking about, okay, what can I be nitpicky about? But um, definitely, movie left me in awe. It was great. Yeah, I lost myself in the movie, just like enjoying, man, like this movie's fun. Yeah. Oh my god, this is going down. Action and like just all the characters, new characters. Everybody's meeting each other for the first time all over again, and right. they revamped it really well. And I was just like, oh, to me, it's great. It wasn't predictable. No. So I, I really liked that because I was just like, oh, what's next? What's next? What's next? Yes, I was surprised. They they did they showed us a lot of stuff that we didn't yeah. see in the trailer. You know. Exactly. Yeah. So. Oh, and I was like, please don't mess it up. Please don't mess it up. Please don't mess it up. <laughs> yeah. I went in there with low expectations, so maybe that has something to do with it. Yeah. I guess the thing is that you realize they could really screwed up this movie, and you know what? They didn't. Uh, yeah. You know, completely hitting out any preliminary review done. Everyone was didn't know what the hell they were talking about. Period. Yeah, I feel I, like I people got paid to say the movie was bad. Yeah, they yeah. had to. I don't yeah, understand. There's no way. Uh, there's it, no way. It wasn't that bad that they claimed that it was. You know, I it mean, wasn't bad at all. At all, really. I mean, it was fun. It was a fun movie. Not to, I mean, not to mention, you have to take this movie into consideration. It is the capitalization of the, this new trilogy. Right. And yeah. and this is the only Marvel film, period, that hasn't you know dismissed is its its pre its previous movies right. yes mm -hmm. and used them incorporated them and yeah. made it work for the new I, that is so clever and done so well if you've I seen can't. the first 3 yes you're going to be like oh now i see it was just like it's it trying to connect as much as possible it not everything yeah. yeah but as much as possible x men first class days of future past mm -hmm. and then kind of just took from there what they had and put it in this one Everything else was kind of just like rebooted, you know, as far as like what they did. In and they reestablished the timeline. Oh, they no, really reestablished the timeline. It worked really well. I thought they incorporated all six movies. Yeah, because they, they had... Did. In a way they did, yeah. Mm -hmm. They had Gene and yeah. Wolverine, mm -hmm. how they connected. Right. So it yes. made sense how, in the first one, why they had Love chemistry. Triangle, yes. And then they also showed... Uh, about, uh, Cyclops. Yes. So Cyclops yeah. looking at him like, oh my gosh, who was this guy? Like, last <laughs> <one's> <laughs> <going>. <laughs> he just finished yeah. killing a whole bunch of guys. <laughs> yeah. So it, it 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 showed why they had so much tension because they knew yeah. each yeah. other. It was already preliminary. That was a, the relationship beforehand. Right. Yeah, I dug that. That was really cool. And it had like really funny comedic mo moments in the yeah. You know, uh, 
Quicksilver doing his thing, oh, you know, man. running through yeah. and stuff. That whole scene was just amazing. Every single time he took off running, it, it took him two months to film that. I found out. Oh, two wow. months of filming two just months? that, the explosion, the whole fast forward. And two him, months. Two months of just Jeez. filming that. Wow. What's, what's, what's the name of that actor's name? Um, oh, uh, the actor for Quicksilver. I don't remember at the top Damn of my head. It. We'll post it. Yes. It'll be. It'll show in a second. Yeah. But either way, that actor <laughs> himself, that that quick version of Quicksilver, by far. Amazing. Yeah, it was funny. He's hilarious. He was like, oh my god, everyone's turning blue. Am I going to turn blue? Is that going to happen to me? Right. He was like, he's like, what's going on? You know, he's like, we, we don't know. We don't know, bro. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys like that Quicksilver better than the one in Avengers? Uh, it, it's different. You know, Avengers is a lot more serious. This one's like a lot more younger, different scope, you know. And so it's hard to say. Uh, I like that Quicksilver in that Avengers. I can't imagine this funny Quicksilver being in that Avengers or then no. switching places, you know? Yeah. It, it, it's a different feel yeah, of the movie. Yeah, it's it really written breaks differently, it. but I mean, uh, I can't say which one I like more. I, I like this. This one's a lot funnier, <laughs> you know? I had, I have more fun with this Quicksilver one in yeah. this movie. So. I think we got a little bit of that in the in the Avengers movies, but we didn't immediately get enough of, what, of Quicksilver, and they killed him off at the end, which was stupid. Right. I mean, he, he's, <laughs> a, he's very cocky. He's like, oh, you didn't see that coming. What do you guys think about um, some of the characters that were still in it that got replaced from the other three? Kind of like... Um, oh, yeah. Like Cyclops, Jean Storm. Grey, Storm. Oh, yeah. Storm. I, I'm glad Storm. I like love this Pauline. new Storm, mm -hmm. and people might ridicule me for this, but I cannot stand Holly Berry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't, man. She should not, she should have been Storm. She should have not been hired on to be Storm. Um, the new Storm, by far, ten times better. A million times better. Go back to Catwoman, Holly. Holly Berry, I love you. I think you did a really good job. Yeah, and all the, ones the one movie where you showed your, never mind. Uh, <laughs> Swordfish. Swordfish was such a great flick. Uh, there's and so he, much... Talent, yes, <laughs> very talent. Um, about uh, Nightcrawler, <laughs> Nightcrawler. This oh. Nightcrawler, he was funny, um, you know, and we still got that whole bamfing around that he's uh, oh, yeah. teleporting. Uh, yeah, he was funny. He, you get that sense that he's like, like you know, more clumsy. He's a new guy, you know. He's clumsy. He's like afraid, you know. He doesn't know what's going on, you know. So he's kind of like a, a weak in. mutant, but he's powerful too. He he doesn't yeah. know what he's capable of. Well, that's the thing too. Like this movie definitely showed them what this this team is made of. But yeah. Nightcrawler, by far, coming from Alan Cummings' performance, it, it did a great job. Yeah. I, I love the carry on. I didn't hate the character at all. I enjoyed the character. It was just yeah. bam. He's still so very much religious, but a demon. So yeah. he got that. Yeah, I like that they actually did keep his religion with him. Oh, yeah. yeah. His uh -huh. uh, spirituality. They didn't just like, oh, well, just poof around. We don't care about all that. Yeah. Right. I think that's pretty cool. And I like that he kept his innocence. Yes, he was very innocent. All the stuff, all the hating stuff that goes around in the world. Even because he was captured, but he still kept his innocence. Yeah, his he, he, didn't even, he didn't want to fight, you know? Right. I, and I liked it. But he could. Yeah. Uh, oh, but, I don't yeah. want no trouble. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fine, you get trouble. It's like Jackie Chan. Right. You know? right. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, no, that was definitely cool. Uh, uh, another, I mean, Cyclops, another thing, you know, we finally kind of got, like, a little bit more of his development, you know, in high school, him, him coming to his power, you know, he's being bullied, you know. He was, I, you know what, I um, liked his character development, because it was, like, not just character development in this movie, yeah, but, like, all of who he was in that universe, because he's right. always been, like, a goody two-shoes, yeah. a boy scout, yeah. and no one, no one ever liked that. So when we see him as a young kid, and he's like this punk kid that, you know, is like rebellious and doesn't want to listen to anything, thinks he's cool. Mm -hmm. And then to see why he became the Boy Scout because of what his brother thought of him, right. I thought that just brought it full circle, and I really like that. I yeah. appreciate it. I'm like, okay, okay, I can like you a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I can like so you. you got shoes to fill in him with yeah. substance yeah. now. And they right. really did a very good job of starting off the relationship between him and Gene. Yeah. I really like the way they started that off. It was really good. So I mean, oh, I didn't see that. Who's yeah. that? You know, Had that tension. Oh yeah. yeah. Who are you? Got my head. <laughs> yeah. You know, and then like, oh man, who is she? Oh man. Yeah. Who talks to her? Yeah. She's a party I room. Hate my now, mind. You know, or don't. <laughs> what do you think about Jean? You know, I, I Did like. Do her. it for you. I, I you bought know? it. Yeah, I bought it. I bought in. At yeah. the end, where she got her confidence. Yeah, during the duration of the movie, she played the the emotional, you know, girl well. Right. Uh, but I'm glad of, I, I like the version of Gene we're getting now. We're not getting, I don't know, I didn't like the version of Gene that they had in the uh, original universe. This this one, I feel like there's definitely going to be a climactic point for this character. And it's going to be meaningful, not just like, 
oh, here's the Phoenix, you know, just it's presence. They right. got presence now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I felt that presence too. And uh, I, I think the the whole movie is just like her, like learn to control your powers, learn to control your powers, and then everybody in the school kind of felt like, ooh, you know, watch out for you know her, you know, right. kind of things. Like she's kind of like uh, out there, uncontrollable. Right. You know, she's out of control. And then finally, you know, Professor X is like, let her rip. You yeah, know, like, here it comes. Yeah, I mean, you, I'm his you, death man. He's like, help me. He's like, help <laughs> me. Let it go. Let go. Yeah. I'm dying. <laughs> Woman, <laughs> hurry up and save me! <laughs> I know she was all walking slow. Yeah, just like, like, hold on. If you don't run over there. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We, we got it. We got it. We got to bring it up. Ready? Ready? You're in my house. Bah! Oh yeah. Oh, and then freaking awesome super grow and you're gonna need a bigger house. Bam. Bam. Yeah. Yes. Did he bother you guys in any way, or did he actually? Play his role. You know what? I didn't even know it was like Oscar Isaac in his apartment. The only time, like yeah. the 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 makeup and things. You I know, see you, Paul. Oh. And I know he, you got uh, ripped about like him being like Ivan Ooze. You know, from oh, Power he Rangers. Just like that. I didn't want to bring it up. But you know, he looked just like Ivan Ooze. You know what? No, I didn't see it though. I didn't see it. I saw <laughs> oh, like the God. mouth, and I All saw day. Apocalypse. I, All day. I yeah. bought it. I, you know, I, I bought into it. He was Apocalypse. The, you know? the only part that made it look like Ivan Ooze. He wasn't Ooze purple. Was the, the headpiece that was up here? <laughs> I think if they, they, I think they could have gotten rid of that and fused it into the the the, the hard shapes, and would have been fine. But. Yeah. The performance of Apocalypse, I was very skeptical about because Apocalypse is this almighty badass fucking character. Yeah. Pardon my French, I'm sorry. Trumbull. Yeah, but for and, the might of Apocalypse, and, you know the powers. They're totally different. His origins are are not exactly one hundred percent different, but they they're yeah. different. Mm -hmm. But this this, you know, you brought it up earlier. The hero to villain complex. I knew this guy was bad. Yeah. I knew that he had yeah. a goal, and he has got no time for anything else. Right. This yeah. is what we're doing. I don't got time for your problems. Yeah. I have a goal. And so I really, really love that hero to just apocalypse, Poe, love you. I thought he was awesome. To me, he, um, he was a major mm -hmm. badass. Oh, yeah. He, he, was, he knew his persona was a badass. Everyone else knew he was a badass. You know, as the people were like, when they, when they first show up and you first meet Storm, and he's like, uh, the guy's like, oh, you better get out of here. He has a knife up to him. He completely ignores him <laughs> right. and talks to Storm as if this knife is not in his face. Just... Like, right. what? Yeah. Anyway, Storm. Yeah. Who is a leader here? You know, so I thought that was like so awesome. And he does the same thing with Magneto, too. Yeah. And he's yeah. just like, it's like, you better not stop me from killing these guys. Uh, What's the hold up? Let's <laughs> dead. It's almost like you go. You're coming with me. Come it's on. almost like he rolled his eyes. Like okay, uh, they're dead. Let's go. Come yeah. on. Yeah, I know you won't think you're bad, but I'm, I'm in my I'm bubble. Better, so here we go. Boom. Yeah. Come with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought that was awesome. I wanted them to let Magneto kill them. I really, if anyone yeah. deserved it. But I think Magneto needed a buy into like, whoa, this guy's powerful. He actually just killed these guys. I was about to wreck this building, but yeah. he just like. Pfft. I know, you know, but they could have just went at it real quick. Yeah. I wanted, I wanted Magneto to get them because to yeah. have your family die because of someone's right. fear. But I think that they already did that with the one scene in the woods where yeah. he kind of like lashed out. You know, he, he got his anger back. He's a killer. Yeah, He's just, like, why are you doing this Nicholas, to me? Like, you know, I know, but I just wanted, I want, I don't know, I wanted that for him. Yeah, I know that sounds bad, like more killing, but I wanted that for him. My goodness. But that's okay. Fine. I guess it, I guess what it made him more dark, you know, because as, as the movie went on, you know, you, you learn different things about what's happening with Magneto, and sure. it, that would have went too dark. Yeah. And at that point, yeah, it was never coming himself. back from that, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. What about Psylocke? Psylocke, uh, I wish I would have saw a little bit more out of Psylocke. Uh, just a you know a little bit more character development. They made her like really mysterious and still mm -hmm. like even evil, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. Like she was an assassin, of course, you know, but they they still like made her like really low key, low key yeah. character. But she, I mean, she was a badass too, though. She, she was a badass. She was one of the uh, four horsemen of the apocalypse. Right. Yeah, you know, she, the, the first mean, four horsemen that they show in the beginning of the yeah, movie. That they, was dope. That's just a, so, yeah. She there was dope. I'm just like Olivia Munn got ripped off. She got ripped off. She's got such talent. Yeah. And she had such a presence, and, and it's like, they were able to give us just enough of each and every character, <laughs> except for hers. I, I like, she's such a, you know, they take these marginalized characters that weren't, you know, huge in the mm -hmm. universe, and they have the huge ones, of course, but don't introduce a character that that's that's that badass, 
and and not give us a little bit more out of her. Yeah, give she us, was mostly mm-hmm. eye candy. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. everyone that's else had full uniforns on. Oh, and she's still had on her yeah. like, like apocalypse. He's like, ooh, I'm gonna make you know cool armor for you, angel, archangel. Yeah. You're really cool. And then she's wearing like this skimpy little. No, get in. You're fine. You're yeah, fine. Yeah. You, oh, your legs are okay. You need to move. Like, yeah. I feel like it should have been a fight sequence between her and Mystique because Mystique has that. That you know, really awesome fighting style, flipping around, doing cool stuff. That would have been cool. And the thing is, you would get that that ninja assassin feel out of her, and you would have gotten something out of it. And I, if there's deleted scenes, I want them. Yeah. Mystique versus Psylocke. I want to see how you got that katana. Yeah, because you you I walked out with it. Katana. How'd you get it? Yeah. Well, what's up with that? You know. That would be kind of yeah. Cool. I, I like that. Her, I, you know what? I think that sometimes when you're a badass, you don't need to say a lot. Mm-hmm. And she just had that presence with her at all times, even though she didn't have a lot of words. Right. But. Just being next to uh, Apocalypse, it seemed like she fit. Like right. she wasn't like out of place. He didn't have to like mind control. She was already a badass. And like when when Mystique is like, ask your psychics what's mm-hmm. gonna happen if you don't do something. And she then she's like, well, what is gonna happen? Mm-hmm. Tell tell yeah. us what's I'd gonna like happen. To know. Yeah. Like I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you see, Mystique didn't answer. Oh no. So yeah, yeah, yeah. she's a badass. Oh yeah. I, I I even though she didn't have a lot of parts. I still did appreciate her her role that she played. Yeah, yeah I, I appreciate definitely it. appreciate yeah. it. I just I wish you know for someone who's t- as talented as she is, that what else is she? she in? She's a damn it! You shouldn't have did that. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I don't know offhand. I've never like really seen her, so I didn't for know. Psylocke, uh, or Psylocke, yeah. or uh, she's a, she was a hostess for Attack of the Show. One of my favorite shows. Attack but of the Show. Attack of the Show. But I think she. No did... one knows that, I'm sure. Oh, you better know Everybody that. Knows that. that. Everybody knows Tech that. Tech TV, no G4, knows that. Attack of the Show. No one you... knows. No. Yes. Oh. You, you know what? If you don't know, now you know. And go YouTube it and look it up. It's going to be hilarious. You're going to so love is it. Is she really talented? She's She's oh. got a camera presence of her. I mean, she, she it's not her first time in front of camera. She's done small cameos in other, I think, I want to say, other Marvel movies. She was in Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2. She was a, a, a reporter in Iron Man 2. That's what it was. So really this is like a step up. It's a step up. But she's... It's not her first time in front of cameras, basically. Well, she had the brewers, though. It was a major she did role. really good. It was a major role. They should have, you know, given her the benefit of the doubt. You know, give her a couple more lines. Give her a little bit more, you know, presence. The fight scene would have been good. For yeah, sure, a fight scene. A fight scene, yeah. Because if you're going to show all that, all those legs and that sex in it, you might as well go ahead and fight. <laughs> yeah, I want to see her so, kicking butt. Yeah, yeah, let's see something useful with the legs. That would be cool. I can't do. <laughs> yeah. I, I think Archangel, too, like, uh, you know, for, for what he was, they, they showed him at a lot of fight scenes, but as far as character development, not not too many lines Is there he either. a badass, though? Because every time I've ever seen him in the cartoon, it was like he was... Swooping down to try to be the hero, but he never really was. They, they give you a small. He, he was kind of torn between himself. Yeah. It's like, do I be the angel? Do I be the archangel? Your angel of death? You know, it's like, well, what am Every I? Every time I see him, it's never. It just never lives up to the hype. Really, I don't know if that's just because you know Hollywood just doesn't want to show you an angel that's a badass, which yeah. I would really like. Yeah, because actually, angels are tougher than demons, so. Might as well let angel be awesome. Yeah, but they just won't do it. Maybe yeah. that's why. Yeah. Because I, I really think that he could have been a better character. I didn't like him at the end. I didn't like him with all that, that armor. I, yeah. I would have liked him just with the wings. Just f- heal his wings, make him bigger or something. Yeah. Being metal wasn't necessary to me. You get that heavy metal music. <laughs> <laughs> Which I didn't... Uh, that that kind of killed it for me, too. Well, the, the one, one thing of the I, I, I give credibility for is, is the... You know, they did do small things, even in the ring. You know, they showed his, his sympathetic side a little bit. Um, and you know he he beat I don't know if you guys remember but he the character that they took out of the ring was uh, the Blob. Yes. And mm-hmm. I thought that was pretty cool. I liked that version of the Blob. I know um, what it was. Yeah, oh, and yeah. the Blob yeah. definitely is a badass character. He's kind of you know he's just a big lug, but you know he puts his wing down and makes another X, and there's six or seven other X's down yeah, there. So he, he's obviously kicked some ass. He's taking people out. And then when Nightcrawler and him get in there, I love that because there's a huge backstory to Nightcrawler and Archangel. And, and where their lineage passes on through. But when he got the metal wings, I feel like Archangel was a valuable part of the Horseman because in the original series, That's what I remember. he was the only X-Men to be in the Horseman. Mm-hmm. It wasn't Magneto, it wasn't anyone else, so it's like you have to give us Angel. Yeah. No ifs, ands, or buts. And I did like the metal wings. I thought it was cool. I thought it was cool. Just, I loved uh, it. They yeah. did great. Like, I, I, I liked so, the way yeah. they looked. The blades. Yes. I liked it. They said I liked it looked it. like feathers, and he was shooting them out. That yeah. was dope. Yeah, that was kind of cool. I guess yeah. I just would 
I like his original look with because you got to see all his muscles and everything. Yeah, he was more badass without all the armor to me. Mm -hmm. But well, okay. what do you think about another character as far as uh, uh, Jubilee? Jubilee, I like. <laughs> I liked that they showed characters that didn't really do anything. Yeah. I I love Jubilee. Just in the movie, just show some reference to the original comic, to the original Cameo. cartoon. Mm -hmm. Forget all that uh, X-Men revolution stuff, evolution. Mm -hmm. I, I want to see some of the original characters that made me enjoy the X-Men. So yeah. just her being there, sure, yeah. I didn't care that she didn't do anything. She didn't really have that many much, that, that strong of power anyway. Mm -hmm. Just being there to me was awesome. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I appreciated it. I could definitely see where they're going as far as like this movie took place all in the 80s basically, yeah. right? And so now they're going for we went from the 70s. That jacket she had on was definitely 80s. It was definitely oh, 80s. Yeah. You know, everything that she's yeah. wore, you can't wear something as ridiculous like that and not be like <laughs> modern day or something. Right. So, uh, you know, I think we're transitioning over to the 90s pretty soon with our next movies, hopefully. The other thing too is, which very caused me huge consideration, is, um, you know, they, they added in Hugh Jackman. And after Old Man Logan, he's done. He's not Wolverine anymore. So it's like, you're going to have to bring Wolverine back into the picture. They had this huge scene with Wolverine, mm -hmm. you know, in a Weapon X, full out of, like, the comic book with his whole headgear on. <laughs> and I, if you haven't watched the movie yet, you like, need to watch it. Not only just for that scene. Like, yes. there's many scenes there's that many make scenes. that work. But that was the one. Oh my gosh. If any, the way that they just pan the camera and you're like, yes, please. It oh my god. What? No, it's even better than I imagined. Yeah, you know? I, I was and like, I was just, out of my seat going, let's do it, yeah! Everybody's just, you know, like... Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes that, do it. Everyone clapped in the theater oh, when we yeah. came oh, out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was like, is it him? Could it be him? Oh, it's probably not him. Uh, but I hope it is. Yeah. It's him! It's him. Let's go! Awesome. They did, they did awesome. the full get up. I'm yeah. not gonna... Oh. I wasn't expecting all of that. None of that. I was no. I was expecting the little like skink that they showed in the trailer, but then they just blew me away. You know, yeah. and they, they did it right to me from yeah. start to finish, from the origins in Egypt, except there was no black people, but the origins <laughs> in Egypt, I know, man. all the way to the 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 last ending after the the, the post credit scene. Right, they just did it. Right. Do you have any cons? What What nope. would you like to have seen? Nope. It was good. It was good. <laughs> no cons. I'm good. Um, you know, everything that I would say that I would probably do different is more of like a... It would be like a political nit, nitpick. Yeah. I want... If you're going to say that we're in Egypt, I want to see some black people. And, and you know, the same thing with the... You know, they do that in a lot of these movies. You know, Exodus and, and whatnot. And I, I don't know what the deal so is. So that's why it's a nitpick. Yeah. I mean, everyone does it, so it's not like it's a political nitpick. Yeah. Everyone does it. It doesn't. I mean, it's not. It doesn't take away from the movie for me. Right. But I definitely notice it every single time they do it. But you're in that, Egypt. You're in Egypt. Come on. But it's like, it's like so a ridiculous. nitpick though. But what they did though yeah. was like awesome. Yeah. Like it was action right out the gate. Oh, yeah. It wasn't this long story. Okay, what's oh, no. what they're talking about now? How are they going to introduce these characters? Okay, when they're gonna start? Okay, now we're getting. It was right, right into the first the few minutes. You right, know? it's just like. <laughs> and to me, that's what an action oh, movie is supposed dying. to be. It shouldn't yeah. be half drama, and then we're gonna end with the action. To me, it's up there with. To me, it was. It's about neck and neck with Civil War. Civil War yeah. This one mm -hmm. spoke to the gladiator in me. Mm -hmm. Civil War spoke to like the kid in me, like, oh man, all these characters. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> so yeah. It, it's a different movie, but it's I don't really world, have anything movie. negative to say about it. And yeah. What about you guys? Cons. Um, you know, like I said, I walked out of the theater thinking like, okay, what did I not like about the movie? Yeah, it's hard to say. Um, I just think uh, overall the movie was very well done. There was some some cinematography errors as far yeah. as transitions in the scenes. They they I, I call it a half-assed Tarantino. You can't break up a film and transition it from character to character without kind of, pre you know, giving a preliminary introduction, and, and it, it makes the film roll more fluid. It actually feels like they had more parts to this movie, mm -hmm. and there's a good chance the studio said, "No, we got to make it shorter. So cut this, cut this, cut that." So that's what I'm saying. Extended edition, I need it. Yes, um, it's got to be in there. I'll hopefully, definitely watch yeah. that. I, I, I didn't like yeah, the the, deleted the, scenes. Un, uh, the you know the toss under the rug of Psylocke. Um, but outside of that, this movie gave me every bit of Marvel X-Men nostalgia that I was looking for. This is the X-Men team we've been waiting for. Yeah. And I love the fact, and this is one thing I, once again, I'm going to reiterate is, 
the fact that they took this universe and made it work with the past universe and didn't disrupt yeah. anything. Maybe there's little bits here and there, but the fact that they did just... They did the best they could. I'm not going to sit here. They did a really good job Great. about rebooting the franchise. And then for me, I mean, I just got to say, uh, you know, I agree with that. The, the the first couple minutes, you know, 15, 20 minutes of the movie, just cinematography-wise, the way that they cut these scenes up and just the way that it progressed, they were like kind of going back and forth between something there. It just didn't feel right. But it was it was fine after that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking that there's got to be something that they probably edited in between that time. Uh, to make up for it, but I mean, you know, it's just being me being nitpicky. It's easy to follow the movie. It's not yeah. too absurd. I mean, you follow the movie, you see for what it was, and I was just like enjoying myself. Yeah, they you know? give you what you what I believe the fans would want out of X Men. Yeah, yeah. Not just a movie, but out of the X Men characters, right. what they bring, the intensity, the insecurities, mm -hmm. you know, the um, letting go or holding back. You know, I, I right. think that they gave. The audience, what they really wanted from X Men. Yeah, they gave me what I wanted. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. thoroughly enjoyed that movie. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. Verdict, Absolutely. If you had to rate it one out of ten. Um, you know what? I'm gonna probably have to give it a. Oh, this is so hard. I watched it twice. <laughs> I watched it twice too. You know, and like coming out of the theater, you're just like blown. It's like it exceeded all my expectations because yeah. I had low expectations coming out of the gate, but like. For what it was, I was in there and I enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed it a little bit more than Civil War for some reason. You know, I'm trying to figure out why did I enjoy this more than Civil War. I actually have a theory on that. Um, so you know, all y'all critics, you actually maybe <laughs> maybe you were paid to do this, but you know, you set the bar so low. I was so depressed. Like after I found out, everyone coming out says the movie sucks. Yeah. And the fact that I went in there with low expectations and to be so bedazzled by it. It just made it that much better. Like you walk out of there feeling like I I'm felt on satisfied. Cloud nine. Yeah, like, I felt I, satisfied. And I, I, I'll admit, yeah. I did feel better than Civil War walking out. And I just think it's that underhype that kicked us, kicked me into gear. Because I'm like, the fuck are you talking about? This yeah. movie's amazing. Right. Yeah. And I thought Civil I War was amazing. Somebody. So it's just like, yeah, that I love Civil War. Civil so, War. Yes. So what did you give it then? Uh, you know what? A final verdict after my second watch, just because of that whole cinematography thing, I got to give it an eight. Uh, but I mean, you know what? It makes it's my favorite X Men movie, yeah. by far. Oh right yeah, now. right now I, it's my favorite X Men movie. But I, I got to give it an eight. I got to give it an eight point five. Okay, yeah. Oh, and and I really want to give it a nine. I really want to like give it, uh, out of the theater. I was going to give it a nine. I gave it a ten out the theater. Yeah, like out, <laughs> out the theater. I think everyone saw ten. the video. Like, ten, ten, ten. But and then he was about to choke me. He was about to choke me because <laughs> I thought you were going to say something ridiculous, <laughs> like seven or something. Six point two. I'm yeah. gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go with a nine because I watched Civil War again as what or Civil War again as well. Yeah. And I enjoyed it just as much. I enjoyed it more the second time I watched. it. I enjoyed Civil War. So more. I would give that one like a nine point five. So this one is definitely a nine. They're they're neck and neck. They are neck and neck. And it's hard to say. I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna give it what I left with the feeling of, and um, it, it it's just as good to me. They're two separate universes, and they did so well on, on each one. I'm giving it a nine. Yeah. I'm going to because you you hit so many levels, and I enjoyed it from someone who's grown up with the comics and the animated show. Yeah. And it, uh, Tyler Kirsch or whatever his name is, he you need know what's his name? Channing Tatum as Gambit. Channing Tatum. No. No, I don't like Channing Tatum. I don't know. I, I don't want. I don't want Channing no? Tatum. No, I don't want. Ch I don't want Channing all over my Tatum. No, um, <laughs> let's not kick that route. I, I don't. I mean, no. Okay. <laughs> so getting a nine. Getting a nine. Out when of the Blu-ray comes out, yes. You guys getting it for sure? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I, I'm, I'm hoping for some type of it's, awesome it's in the trilogy collection. set. I'm yeah. hoping there's some cool set that comes out. Yeah. But I, I know Brian Singer's actually on board for more of these movies. He's, he's, I want to see those deleted yeah. scenes. I want to see that. And that's one big thing too. You know, what what are you expecting out of this universe now that we're moving forward with it? Brian Singer's still on board. What, you know what? what do you, moving what's forward, one thing you look forward for. Okay, here's what I think is going down. So we we're, we're, we did the whole '70s thing. We we just did the '80s. We're gonna do the '90s, and the '90s needs to shine you know really crazy in the 90s x-men i remember mr sinister having his own island and he had oh, his yeah. own set of mutants so i mean like you had like the evil mutants like just bombarding these new x-men and these new x-men they've been through training and right here we see them in the right. danger room doing training right. so that you know you think that they're top notch at this point and they they're in control of their powers 
but you got these evil mutants that that are just gonna knock them down. Yeah, you know they're gonna dismember their team. You know, and we're we're gonna see them hit hard in this one. Hopefully, we see some new mutants too. Anyway, yeah. I um, hope we get a bigger, better rogue. I mean, I, oh I know, my not gosh, to, gosh. not yes. to knock the old rogue, Man, but I'm not like, not. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> but I, I want the I want the the, the, the thrill of her and then the come on, sugar, yeah. like give me that. Like, let me take that yes. power. Let me take this power. <laughs> it would be awesome. The origin story for her would be so awesome. I mean, I I think she needs her own movie, really. Just to, or if she's going to be in the X Men, she needs to have her she own could be in the X-Men, origin yeah. story. Yeah, because her origin story is pretty awesome, and we just need that. The the little wimpy, simpy Rogue that we got in one, two, and three yeah. just didn't do it for me because Rogue was my favorite character. She needs to be powerful, you know, powerful. And I think that yeah. they uh-huh. they got it right. Hopefully, they stick to this formula. Yeah, because everyone was so awesome and so powerful yeah. that I think now that she can fit. Yeah. Everyone's not trying to figure out their their powers. They know who they are. They're they're not afraid to let go. So now let me get badass rogue kicking everyone's butt. Yeah. And I think that that's what I would really want from the movies, the X Men movies going forward. Yeah. yeah I, I, I do absolutely. have a question for Brian Singer. If you even watch this, you probably I probably not. But dude, you, you the Apocalypse actually completed his mission in a sense. No matter what, at the end of the movie, the only reason why is because his job was to make the survivors of this to be the strongest. And this X Men team, this young X Men team, even all of the you know, all of his you know, horsemen, they all went from this power level to this power level oh, yeah. in this movie. Oh yeah. And so it's like it's almost like Apocalypse didn't even, even though at the end, you know, the he still accomplished his goal. He did you know? reveal the future. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and it's like, it's almost like, in a sense, Apocalypse still won the, the, the underlining of that war. Yeah. And that's one thing I thought was very brilliant, if that was part of the whole kick. I, I'm, I don't, I'm sorry this is going long, guys, but I just had to add that in there. To, to me, what I got from that, his last words, um, all is revealed, is, is he, I don't think that he knows where his powers come from, really. And he didn't think anyone was anywhere near his you know power level yeah so then when phoenix comes out which they did phoenix really oh, well wow. they did, did phoenix really, awesome. really well mm-hmm. he's Great. like all is revealed because now he knows there's something even more or maybe oh yeah where she comes from is kind of like where maybe mm-hmm. he can be coming i don't know what he was really thinking but to me i feel like he thought that you know oh there is other beings as strong as me oh definitely. i get it now Alright guys, that's our review, Break Room Blitz. I hope you guys enjoyed. You know what? You know, we gotten some complaints about the spoilers, but really we're here to have a discussion and we can't have a discussion without saying some of the plot points. So this is more for intellectuals that want to actually discuss the things that they've watched and see if, you know, their feelings about the movie was the same as others. Watch this movie. Definitely gotta watch it. If you were sorry about the spoilers, but we can't spoil it without actually having a discussion. And we didn't kill everything on this movie. Honestly, you're, you can still go to this movie and still get a lot out of it. I'm, I'm not kidding. It's such a great movie. Our discussion doesn't do it justice. No. No, it doesn't. You gotta go see it. Don't worry about what Rotten Tomatoes are saying or what some other critics on some other pages no, no. are saying. I don't know who paid them, but <laughs> this movie is awesome. Definitely go check it out. Alright guys, so don't forget to subscribe, share, tell you all, tell all your friends, watch a couple times, do what you have to do. We need all your support. We appreciate you. Alright, I'm DeAnthony. Adan. Mr. Conch. And we're out. Peace.